Hey, Internet friends, this is Magic Brad on The Magic Brad Show and here at an undisclosed location at the Magic Lounge in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I'm not going to tell you where it is. <laughs> it's in my home and I've got my friend David, David Cantero. How you doing, David? Happy Friday, everyone. Happy Friday. I am freaking fired up and glad to be on the line with you, Brad. You got up early because I know that you're two hours uh, ahead or after or whatever in LA. You're in San yes. Diego, right? Yes, yes. San Diego. I told my wife, I said, hey, I have a quick call. She thought it's eight o'clock. I'm like, yep, I do. Because normally I have my calls, you know, a little later, but got to get on the line with my buddy, Brad. <laughs> got to tear this product apart and see how we can help the masses. Yeah. How long have you lived in San Diego? My whole life, man. 40 plus oh, years. Nice yeah, area so. down there. I got a buddy that's in Temecula. Oh yeah. Nice. No, Tem I love Temecula. Temecula is about an hour and a half north of where I'm at. And then he's got a liquor store in uh, Borrego Springs, a little convenience store, liquor store. Oh, I bet it stays busy. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. That's a nice area. Brago Springs, it gets super, super cold there, and then also gets super hot there. But I mean, you're 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 familiar with the coldness, right? Yeah, I can handle it. It is what it is. We've had very mild winter cold. so far. I've kind of I'm at, I'm in Minneapolis, Minnesota, so it's, <sighs> uh, it can get cold here. I don't even I, I don't even want to ask you what the temperature is today. That's no big deal. It's jacket weather. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> so so what um, do we got here? I've been following you on uh, YouTube. I love the way that you do your teaching and your trainings with like, I also use Kartra and the way you show actually like over your shoulder hands on with your clients and stuff. Cause yeah. it's so much more relevant when you see somebody else going through the same thing and you pointing that out. And then you also do um, Facebook training, helping people on Facebook. And that also intrigued me because you know, Facebook's the big giant. So you gotta know how to do it and it can get complicated, but yeah. The, there's so much stuff that you don't need to know and the way that you teach you show the stuff that you do need to know you know yeah I, and i think that's a, that's a problem with a lot of different i mean you can look at that with anything really most things we approach whether it's in life or business we think it's more complicated than it actually is you know and when you really break it down and and yeah and you have a a, a simple approach to it um it could be, you can understand it, you know, and that's how I kind of looked at Facebook ads. I'm like, I, I spent so much money. I spent so much time on courses and coaches and trainings and all this stuff, you know, it, when it pertains to, to online advertising and traffic. And I'm like, man, it's more complicated than people make it seem. And if I can break this down and make it simple for people, maybe I can help some people and get some clients out of it. And that's kind of been my mission for the past few years. Well, you've definitely it's helped me. It's, it's, it's kind of like a statue. You know, you got a big piece of granite and you're chipping away all the stuff to get to the statue. Yes. Oh, that's a good you're analogy. To get rid of all the stuff and you just need the basics. And uh, you do a lot of stuff. And also the, the niche that I'm breaking into is the helping real estate agents. Nice. Oh, I lost yes. your camera there. Let me, okay. there we go. That should be better. What happened? <laughs> you disappeared like magic. <laughs> <laughs> magic on the magic show. You never know what's going to happen, right? <laughs> that's right. Just wave the wand. <laughs> so you help real estate agents. And uh, the interesting thing about real estate is their mindset is they know it's a long-term game, which that's what marketing is. It's a long-term game because so many people are into this instant, you know, buy my stuff kind of thing. And real yeah. estate agents have that mindset, but they're a commodity somewhat because they're everywhere. And the only differentiating factor is their personality or their personal brand mm -hmm. to be known, liked, and trusted. And that's how you help people with Facebook. And the reason I wanted to do this video with you, I wanted to show you a platform that I'm using to help realtors nice. because I've noticed that uh, like I bought a house here in West Minneapolis, Western part of Minneapolis. And the mm -hmm. guy that sold it to me or sold it with me, my realtor, haven't heard from him. Mm. Why is that? And sometimes because they're busy working with other clients. But the software I mentioned last time we were on is called Mailbox Power. And what it does is it gives you the ability to send greeting cards and gifts and thank you. I love it. And stay top of mind with mm -hmm. these people because, you know, when a realtor sells a home, there's a high probability one, they're going to probably buy another home in about five to 10 years, mm -hmm. or people are going to say, so who helped you buy your home? They're going to ask. And mm -hmm. if you're not top of mind, mm -hmm. they go, I don't know, just this guy, you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, and that's why when you mentioned to me a few days ago, I'm like, man, that's exactly what I mean, realtors can use that. Any small business owner can use that. Insurance agents. I have a lot of friends who are insurance agents that follow up. Like I just got life insurance not too long ago with one of my buddies and he sent me a, a, a gift card from Amazon. And, and I'm like, this could have been probably a little bit more personal, but I still gave him credit and I still cashed the damn thing, right? I was still thankful. 
but I'm like, there, there has to be more. There can be more personality. This could have been maybe this wrapped stuff, up in a different way. So there's lots of opportunity. Some, some things. This, uh, this, the guy that's that showed me this is an insurance guy oh, <laughs> from nice. Minneapolis here. So he sent me this little briefcase. It's a little miniature briefcase for holding business cards. I love it. It doesn't have his logo on it. It's got my logo on there from my show. I love it. I love and it. He sent me this coffee mug with uh, some brownies in it. The brownies came in this big giant box looking for brownie points. And it's customized with my name. It says, prepared especially for Magic Brad. Look at that, man. So it's got it's my name on it. And he sent me this card. It says about thinking outside the box with my name on it. So it's it's a lot different. Same thing with this. It's got my old Synergy Cafe. I rebranded my show, this nice little coffee mug. And it's got my name on it. So what, what realtors do is they will sell a house to somebody, or like you say, like you said, other companies like remodelers, they'll do a before and after their kitchen. Mm -hmm. We'll send them a card that has it in there. Or if you sell the house. You know that you got memories of being in that home so mm -hmm. maybe you want a, a greeting card that has a picture of your old home you know thank you for letting me sell your home and here's your new home it's got pictures of that they're going to keep that kind of thing and then um i love it man another thing is like a, um, postcards the thing is with mm. email is you know the open rate on email is pretty minimal yeah and then once you get an email where is it you know you got to find it somehow postcard it's physical, you put it on the refrigerator. So if you've got more time here, I'd like to show you a screen share. Yes, let's platform. dive in. Yeah, because I like to be just open and transparent with this stuff. A lot of people try and hide stuff. I like to be open, kind of like what you do with Facebook. You go right into the back office of stuff and, and I can relate to it. I can see it because I've yes. been there, you know? Yes. So let me figure out how to zoom here, how to share my screen. You let me know if you can see it. It should be right there, do a share. And you see my screen. Perfect. Perfect. So I would I would think just looking at it, just looking at it, I'm already thinking hundreds of products. I'm already thinking many opportunities. Is that what this kind of provides? Or is it just a handful of mugs and handful of different types nope, of products? There's or? lots of different products in the little gift shop and they're categorized. You know, you got stuff for your pet. You got birthday cards. You got mm -hmm. uh, stuff that doesn't have a logo or anything on it. It's just a gift. So there are a lot of gifts. There's a lot of greeting cards. There's a whole gift shop. Right here, it's loading for me. So here's a cute little skeleton key bottle opener. There's no logo on that, it's just a gift. And there's different levels of the membership for this. So you, the, the, the prices for the gifts are a little bit lower. They have mm -hmm. edible kind of stuff. Here's a cool little thing over in the corner. I don't know if you can see that. It's for holding your cell phone or your, or your iPad or whatever. So, yeah, and so that also, can be branded. That can a, a, a person's name or a logo can be so, on that? So most stuff. Um, this thing, probably not. It's just a gift. Same thing with this little key. It's probably just a gift. But stuff like the coffee mugs and and other things like that. Yes, there's like I said, you're here gift cards, one time mm -hmm. only gifts, mm -hmm. personalized gifts, non personalized gifts. So some things are personalizable and other things aren't. But I wanted to show you a thing as a marketer, and you'll appreciate this. There's an address book thing in here, so you can actually build your own address book. Should be opening here there it goes so if i want to build a mailing list you can see this right here build a mailing list a lot of this like i said is designed for real estate type people so if you're looking for individuals here are only new homeowners they just bought a home here are only new movers they're looking to move so mm -hmm. you can target these types of people and then you can target them geographically wherever they are, you put in the, the city zip code and all that wow. or you a radius around an address, or you can get into the demographics. Are they male, female? Do they like pets? Um, all that kind of stuff. Wow. So you can order a custom mailing list Yes. and get a bunch of stuff printed on it and market the heck out of it. Exactly. I love that, man. Really cool. So you can also do, instead of individuals, you can do businesses. So you can select the businesses through uh, like SIC codes if you want. Mm -hmm. You can you can find people through. Uh, there's too much to show here, but uh, you know SIC codes. Yeah, right? yeah, I get it, I get it. Yeah, yeah. So you can find all accountants in San Diego if you wanted to. Wow, 
And then you can buy, this is how many are there, but you can buy a hundred, you can buy a thousand, whatever you want. And once you've got them, then you can do mailings to them. It's like, I just created this mailing list and I've been mailing them uh, just for about a week or so now. When the heck is it? There it is. So I got a list that I created of opportunity seekers. So there's uh, 456 opportunity seekers. These are mm -hmm. in a 10 mile radius of where I live. So my strategy was if these people see this and they they see me and I'm doing videos around the mall and they're they're familiar with the mall, the no like and trust factor accelerates rather than if I was hitting somebody in Austin, Texas or something that's mm -hmm, never heard mm -hmm, of me. Mm -hmm. So it, it's got the, the the list building capability and then it's got the campaign building capability. If you wanted to uh, like here's some of my saved projects. So this is a campaign, there's a greeting card campaign. Here's a little puzzle that I designed. And uh, the thing with this puzzle is that the solution, you call me for the solution. So they try and do this little cute little puzzle. Mm -hmm. um, so you design all these postcards or greeting cards or um, however you wanna do it. You can design the gifts. So you can go into a place like Canva. They've also got designers that you can hire to do stuff, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Create, create a design specific for you if you want them to design it for you. Um, you got any questions about anything and I'll try and answer whatever I can. Well, but you're breaking down here. I'm just, so many ideas are, are popping in my head and <laughs> it does. you know, so many, because again, what I, the only reason why I'm even in the real estate space as far as helping them is because I come from mortgages. So when I was in the loan, you know, in mortgage industry, I had so many clients where I could have sent them so many things like this, man, and I didn't right? Like most of us don't follow up. So how about business cards? Are business cards in here? Can you put together some business cards? You know, or is I'm, it not, more really, of I'm a, not really of a, sure about that. It's really more about not, appreciation. It's not so much yeah, more about, of a, yeah, more of a gift type of, it's about saying thank you and uh, showing that yeah. you care and being top of mind so that they'll reciprocate and uh, give you referrals and maybe do more business with you. Are you able to search? Like if you go into the gift shop, can you search or yeah, you can search there's a search right like can you type in a certain type of product and maybe see if it's in here or is it just kind of a layout of everything oh, that's already look at the gift cards uh so they got you know amazon gift cards that's uh yeah so you can send somebody a gift card customized with their name or brand or company logo or anything it probably like that comes with the card or the the gift card is probably like put into a greeting card and then you can gotcha. customize the greeting card hey thank you for allowing me to you know uh, plan your financial future or whatever you end up doing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so there's, there's definitely all those things the other thing i wanted to mention is there's um it's sort of a crm type situation in that like let me go back to the my projects again so if I find one of my projects, my little horse and rider puzzle thing, I can, let's see. So I can, I can share the project. I can't find where it is that I'm trying to find right now because I haven't used this enough, but mm -hmm. what, it, what else you can do is you can send them a link saying, hey, I need your address because I want to send you a thank you for doing business with me. Now your client will fill that out and put in their name, address, city, state, zip, phone number, birthday, and all that. Mm -hmm. As mm -hmm. soon as they fill it out, it triggers a campaign that it's connected to. So if it's a birthday thing or if it's a whatever campaign, like in the, in the real estate capabilities, there's a thing called um, ditch the basket. I don't know why they call it that, mm -hmm. but it's a, a two and a half year campaign where every three or six months, it'll send them something so for two and a half years, it'll stay in front of that person. And it just oh, triggers that's the powerful. Thought. Yeah, so it'll, they fill it out themselves. It'll trigger that campaign. And now you can move on. And when they receive something, they'll call up and say, hey, David, I just got those brownies from you. Those are actually pretty good. I really appreciate it. Thanks. We should grab a coffee sometime. Maybe go have dinner. See, that's it right there, Brad. That's it right there. Ditch the basket. That right there is powerful. I can see how that long-term follow-up, just nurturing that lead, nurturing that client, could be powerful yeah, and you, and you get to choose home. obviously what goes out over the next several months or whatever right like you just well, put well, everything some of these in things are pre-done for you you just have to go in and customize them to your message that you want to convey 
And then but as far as the product point. line, like let's say there's 12 months ahead of us and or is there already a product line in queue or can, or, or do I? Well, you both? can create it yourself or gotcha. you can take one that the product line's already there and all you have to do is merge in. You know, the address and name. yeah, name and address. It, it automatically merge, merges in their name and all that kind of stuff. But if you want to put a custom message on there, like, you know, I really enjoyed uh, seeing Tommy and Janie at the soccer meeting or mm -hmm. the soccer game. If you want to customize it a little bit, you can do that. Or, really cool, man. Really cool. It's pretty so powerful. then for, for an agent, for example, you know, a real estate agent or, or anyone like that, like, are they just paying per item that is shipped out or is there a monthly fee or is there a, a, an actual signup fee or anything like that? There is a monthly user fee. Okay. Um, there's uh, different levels. Um, mm -hmm. There's also an affiliate thing to it. So when people use it, I end up earning a commission from it. So it's, it's not a multi-level thing, just so you know mm -hmm. that. It's a two-tier yeah. affiliate program. Mm -hmm. You're an affiliate, and then you can <clears throat> you can uh, recruit other affiliates to work with you, and it just doesn't go any further than that. That's it. Kind of like I real estate. It. I love it. I love it. And and everyone's used to referral fees, anyways, man. So if you can refer this out and make a little commission, why not? You know. Well, that's getting to be the way of the world. I'm going to stop my share now. Come back and say hi. That's getting to be the way of the world. I mean, that's what Amazon is. It's basically, uh, mm -hmm. uh, they're an affiliate for other people's products to connect uh, customers. People get confused with affiliate marketing. All it is is being the middleman that was kicked out of here when the internet came along. Now, the internet it. came along and mm -hmm. said, we don't need reps anymore. We're just going direct to the manufacturer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then Amazon stepped in and said, I'll be the middleman. And that's why it got so big. Yeah, and that's yeah. all affiliate marketing is. It's just making relationships. You find somebody that wants to buy a house, you hook them up with somebody that can sell you the house. <laughs> Pretty simple. I love it, man. I love it. What I'll do, I mean, I have a huge, I have a huge network, obviously, of, of agents and just online entrepreneurs. So we'll put some information in the description below this video and, and I'll get this out to my email list, Brad, and, and really get some customers on this platform. That's what it's all about. It's all about networking and just letting people know that uh, stuff is available. You know, uh, again, a lot of people don't realize that a lot of things they end up buying on Amazon because they're just mm -hmm. poking around on Twitter and they see a pair of Nikes or something. They don't realize that that link was not put there by Nike. It was yeah. probably put there by an, mm -hmm. uh, an affiliate marketer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And same thing like we use Kartra and stuff. That's a very powerful platform to be able to build pages and build lists and mm -hmm. calendars and all those campaigns and you help real estate because real estate agents kind of got to use something like that these days. You got to, you got to run your own business. Even if the company has some landing pages, mm -hmm. they've got common landing pages that all the other real estate agents are using. So you got to yeah. take something that's you. We get a little personalization goes a long way, Brad, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Well, where can we find you, Brad? Where can any, where can we, where can we find you? Where, where, where are you at online? I just tell people, Google the keyword magic, Brad, and then nice. you'll find me depending on nice. what you're looking for. I've been in business pretty much all my life. And mm -hmm. uh, I've, I've uh, branded the name magic, Brad, because I started doing magic when I was a kid. That was how I made money through the seventies, eighties and nineties. I love it. Then I got into the event world and COVID came along and says, you can't do events anymore. So <laughs> Man. Now I yep. just pivoted to online marketing. But how do they get a hold of you? Well, you can find me all over social media. I mean, you can find me really on YouTube, um, InspiredDigital.tv, um, Inspired with an E, so right. InspiredDigital.tv. Mainly all my content goes on YouTube. I mean, you can also find me on every platform, Inspired Digital, but a lot of my content goes on a YouTube, you know, because right. I just kind of found my niche as far as video. You know, I, I can kind of portray my message more in video. So I, I, I found that as to be my home. Sure. And that's where I'm meeting a lot of awesome people. In fact, but, that's where I met you. you but too, you're so. wise enough to uh, capture your share of that internet real estate and get inspired on Twitter, inspired on Facebook, inspired on Instagram. I think I saw yeah. it on all those. Yeah, inspired digital all across the board. Um, and, and I'll just be releasing weekly videos for the rest of the year, man, up on YouTube. Absolutely. Everybody's got to tune into that. Uh, that's where I saw you. And again, I really appreciate the way that you do that because you're not Thank really you, pitching anybody anything. You're educating people, showing value and the authenticity and the, uh, the relevance when you do these videos. It just helps so much to be able to see that someone else is doing the exact same thing I'm trying to do. And then David's saying, yeah. 
here's yeah. the path. No, don't go over there. Go down the straight path. It's much easier. <laughs> yeah. And everyone has their niche. And I guess just a few years ago, I, I found my niche in, in helping the beginner and then, and then making my content beginner type of, 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 um, what's the word I'm looking for? Just, just, just like, if you look at my YouTube videos, there's nothing edited. In fact, today, I still don't know how to edit, you know, and, and the fact that I don't edit anything, the fact that it's just authentic, I record the damn thing and throw it up. You get two Believe it or not, Brad, that right there actually attracts people. It does. You know, so, so the beginner is where I kind of found my passion helping that person. And I tell people all the time, you don't have to be a pro, whatever you're doing, like with, with your affiliate marketing, Brad, or, or even magic or whatever you're fired up about, you don't have to be an expert, whatever, wherever your knowledge is at. And that's what, that's what I learned years ago. I'm like, man, I'm not the smartest online marketer. I'm not the best social media marketer. I'm not the biggest YouTuber at all, but where I'm at, where everyone is at with their, with their own knowledge, you're a few steps ahead of someone else. So if you can just take that approach and just keep it that simple and put your message out, you're going to attract people that are just a few steps behind you. They're going to appreciate your content. And, and that's all it is, man. I don't have, I'm not the best at all. I'm just a few steps ahead of someone else. And that's my subscriber or that's my follower or that's my, you know, customer, you know? So just start, man, start online, digital, this whole digital era, we are, we're officially in it. And, and you have to start putting content out no matter what you're doing, you know, no matter what you're doing. And I think um, keep it simple. Like you said, keep I mean, it simple. it's like when you go buy a car, you don't need to be a mechanic to buy a car, you right, buy a car right. and you drive the car. Mm -hmm, well, mm -hmm. the, some of the stuff people make it so complicated. I mean, just to create a WordPress site, you almost need to be a, a computer wizard to create a web page. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> right. Yeah. So if you can yeah. just show the simple path of here's how you do a Facebook ad and with a video, do a video with your phone, do mm -hmm. a Facebook ad, and then direct them to a landing page in Kartra. That's all you got to do. You don't need all that other craziness. Yes. Anyways, yes, we man. could rant on and on about this. So. <laughs> right. I appreciate you, wanna, you, Brad. Thank you so much, man. I enjoyed stay on this. for a little bit. I'm going to close this off, but I'd like to chat a little bit more with you. And then I got sounds good. To do, and I'm sure you do too. Okay. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching. This is David Cantero. This is Magic Brad. Peace, love, and happiness. Be well. Be good. Be safe. Blessings.